welcome 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 to the channel um, LLC, welcome one and all welcome 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 if you are new to the channel welcome as well okay where you are blessed all right Times energy, energy is currency as you bless me i bless you hopefully the collective out there is receiving messages that will help them in their situation, love, work, or life. If you'd like to book a personal reading, all that information is found in the description box below. Or simply click on the Facebook icon located in the upper hand, upper right hand corner of my channel. Roles can be flipped, switched, reversed. I could be saying you and literally picking up on who or whatever is in your energy and vice versa. Keep in mind these are only general collective messages. They may or may not resonate with you. Take a fist, leave the rest. Please use discernment. This reading right now will be for Libra and Libra placements for the month of April 2023. Okay, so Libra, Libra placements, what's going on? I ask that no weapon formed against me, my collective, my businesses, my security, stability, collective security, stability, family shall prosper, my kids shall prosper. I ask that the almighty creator of heaven and earth the Alpha and the Omega Yeshua keep us protected under the shadow of the Almighty that keep us watch over us, bless and protect us sexually, physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally financially uh, against our enemies and any evil intent ill will, bad thoughts, bad thought forms, maleficence the evil eye and the malocha being sent by known or unknown enemies, related, not related physical, spiritual, dead, alive, here, not here, seen and unseen, I ask that it be Blocked out, okay. Block that energy from me and the collective, and I ask that you cancel out any and all negative energy being sent this way. Cancel out any and all demonic energy being sent this way as well. Amen. What's going on with Libra? Let's get it. Amen. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Benevolent Spirits only. Holy Spirit, Benevolent Spirits only. What is the underlying energy for uh, Libra? What's going on with Libra and Libra placements? What is it that Libra needs to know for Libras out there? Libra, Libra placements. Hmm. Are we brainstorming, Libra? What are you doing here? Creativity card came out. I see this as the Ace of Wands as well. Um... <clears throat> Side note, some of you could be very artistic. I see painting, drawing, sketching something, all right? This could literally uh, be a brand new beginning. And so someone could be going to art school here. That's not going to be for everybody. <sighs> someone could be definitely going to art school here. Creative arts and crafts, art, something to do with art. Sketching, drawing something. Okay? But most of all, I see the creativity card here as the Ace of Wands here. The Ace of Wands speaks of um, a lot of opportunities, brand new beginnings, a passionate new beginning as well. Doors opening, right? A lot of action being taken. A lot of doors opening. Your path is your pathway. Your path is definitely open. And if it's for a passionate beginning, definitely it's with some dude here. Masculine energy here. We have the sad man reverse. Or this could be you, Libra. Someone's very excited about a passionate beginning here with a masculine energy. Or this masculine energy could be feeling the same way about you, Libra. If you are a female Libra. If you are a masculine Libra. Um... You could be very excited about a new opportunity coming your way or a new sexual tryst coming your way. But please, Libra, be mindful because whoever this uh, man is, this person has very dark energy here. They do, they do things in the dark. There's something that you don't see about this person here. Spiritual bath reverse, yeah. Um, this person is um, spiritually dirty. I can't put it no other way. Their aura is dirty. 
Like, this would be someone that goes from one person to the next, 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 and don't clean their aura. Hell, they probably don't clean their penis off. Um, <clears throat> they just put it back in their pants and then go screw the next one, put it back in their pants, and then screw the next one, and then come towards you. That type of energy here. We got new love reverse. This is someone from your past or someone that you are currently with here. This is not a new lover here. Although this person wants a passionate new beginning with you. They want to start off with something. This person could even live with you. But I feel like this person, you need to clear your energy. If you're looking for something new or new opportunity or new lover, you need to cleanse your energy of this individual here. Like seriously. Okay. What's the underlying message for Libra? And Libra placements. Libra, Libra placements here. I feel like this masculine at one point in time um, may have been dealing with some sort of depression. But they cry to themselves at night. Something's going to be exposed about this masculine energy you're dealing with, Libra. In due timing. But at this point in time, this person's not spiritually um, clean. And they may be bringing this to you here. I don't feel you like this person. You're not very happy with this person. This person you're dealing with might be a, a closet hidden um i'm trying to put it in the right way now if it come out it's just gonna fucking come out or well but um with that rainbow in the back i see ocean so this this person could be a water sign it could be child of ocean this person also could be bisexual that you're dealing with okay Like, someone may want to pass in the beginning with someone, but someone's not happy about that. They prefer to take care of themselves right now and only focus on themselves here because they're not happy. So, someone, you or them, Libra, don't want to deal with a relationship at this point in time. Someone prefers to just be honest. Someone may be friend zoning someone, is what I'm getting. Someone may be friend zoning someone. Yeah, someone's taking care of themselves, but they may feel a little bit lonely. We have loneliness here. Someone doesn't like to be by themselves. Someone doesn't like to be without a partnership or relationship of some sort. <clears throat> but someone's happy. It's like one person doesn't like to be by themselves. Someone's very codependent on someone's energy. But the other person, they don't mind being by themselves. Um... It gives them time to take care of themselves, get themselves together, get their act in order, take the spiritual bath so they can have a um, brand new passionate beginning elsewhere. Someone may not like that. Let me get one more. And then I'm going to pull some tarot. Yeah. Someone doesn't know someone very well. Matrix reverse here. Someone's like hiding information about themselves or they're just not revealing who their selves are. Didn't I tell you? Okay, this could be you, Libra. With this not revealing who you really are. Not giving up that much information about yourself. What's going on with Libra? Holy Spirit. Libra. Libra placement. Specifically, Libra, Sun, Moon, Star. Okay. Spiritual bath. Someone could be... Um, because someone's lonely. You're alone because you got, like, dead spirits around you. Dead spirits on you. Whoever you are. This could be you, Libra, or who you're dealing with or who's living with. Those dead spirits can block you from a new beginning here someone's in a relationship but it's like one-sided like someone someone's in a relationship but they feel alone like what's the point of this relationship if i'm feeling like i'm by myself all the time
type of energy here. This is what's going on here. So someone's definitely not happy here. Someone's keeping someone out of the loop in this relationship. And this is why the other party feels like they're just by themselves. Um, because the other party is happy taking care of themselves. They're getting ready to have a passionate brand new beginning. Leaving something behind. Something that they're not happy with. So someone's leaving you, Libra. Or you're leaving somebody. But someone feels like they're getting ready to leave this relationship. And be successful elsewhere in another relationship. Or just being successful by themselves here. Someone was offered something. Someone was offered a new partnership here. From a Taurus. <sighs> what is going on? Relationships literally be like that. We'll be two people. And one's not happy. Yeah, someone's closing out a cycle and moving on. Someone's closing out a cycle and moving on. They have thought about it have downloads about this they're finding grounding and stability and security elsewhere because where they at they don't feel uh secure they don't feel like it's stable where they at and i say that someone's solar plexus is lit they're like i need to find grounding and stability elsewhere I need a passion of the beginning elsewhere. It's like someone's been praying to the ethers to close out this particular cycle here with a one-sided relationship here. If someone's getting ready to leave someone behind here, close out the cycle. Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius here. Okay. But someone's definitely closing out the cycle here. Yeah, and I say they live together. Someone getting ready to close out a cycle here. Because they're going somewhere else. So they're closing out a cycle with a twin, or someone that feels like a twin flame to them. Someone that they've been living with out uh, the outskirts of the city. Okay. Someone lives on the outskirts of the city here. Someone gained wisdom from uh, their downloads from the ethers. That they know where they can find their stability and security, which is elsewhere. So someone's definitely moving on. I'm channeling that Maya song moving on what else is going on someone's happy yeah this masculine there's a masculine energy moving on so if the masculine energy is not libra then libra you're the feminine energy and this masculine is leaving you behind okay something is dirty something's not clean here um spiritually Someone's keeping someone out of the loop. Someone's not telling someone stuff. Okay, you could be a high priestess. They could be a high priestess at the house. But we got Pisces and we got Capricorn that live together here. Toxic, very toxic energy. All right, someone's trying to heal their heart. And they're protecting their heart from all this drama that this person be drinking, be bringing to them. Someone drinks. Someone drinks. Someone thought their little black magic spell work was going to keep someone binded. Someone did like a Martha Dominator ritual, which is command, control, and um, com um, command, compel, control type of energy, like controlling um, spell work here. It didn't work. That spell work closed out. They were doing it in the home. So there's something in the, inside the house, Libra, or whoever, or the other person. There's something that's in the house that you may have passed by. I'm getting kitchen that you didn't pay attention to. This was that. Um, this was that earthbound force that was controlling you here. Confirmation. The bell just rung. Yeah, but someone's very toxic here. They're constantly looking online. They're constantly trying to gain wisdom on a situation here. Um, this person is very balanced. Someone could be go closing out a cycle with you, Libra, and going towards this high priestess here. Where is the toxic energy, codependent, sexual addictions, um, drug addictions, whatever. Um, addicted to black magic and doing it a lot. 
All right. I feel like someone's healing from all this drama that was thrown at them, like from five different people coming from this individual here who's very toxic, whoever this high priestess is. All right. Happiness reverse self care. Because someone feels like they're not happy in a situation with this toxic energy, they want to be by themselves a bit, take care of themselves, get away from this toxic energy here, and heal their heart. Someone's healing from a lot of toxicity and drama, conflicts, surrounding a home environment here. That cycle's closing out, and a new cycle is starting. What is this? Yeah, because someone was trying to create it where someone's not happy. So someone decided to say, you know, forget this. I want to take care of myself. Uh, someone's avoiding drama or just ignoring the drama. No one cares for drama nowadays. I don't understand people. Like, people that want to create drama, they're very toxic and they have an unhealed childhood. They're dealing with childhood issues and childhood wounds that they, they fear facing. A lot of people don't want to face their toxic childhood wounds that they develop from their mom and dad or single parent home or being rape victims at such a young age and they don't speak about it type of energy. Growing up with toxic parents that drink, smoke, or, or a toxic parent that's a prostitute. There's a lot that people be dealing with here. But whoever this is, they was dealing with a lot of devil energy around their home environment. Okay, from like five people here that were doing this little witchcraft thing here around the home, it's, that cycle's closing out here. Happiness, reverse, self-care, loneliness. Again, there's a lot of bitter people here. Four cups reversed here. Someone's finally accepting the fact that the cycle is closing. One door is closing, another's opening, and someone is moving on to a brand new beginning. Got the title card here. Someone's finally putting themselves first. That's that self care card here. Now, although they may be lonely, it's worth the sacrifice to get away from this drama, this negative energy, this codependency. You know what I'm saying? So, no one wants to be around that. Like, seriously, no. Yeah, and because someone feels this way, the other party is feeling in regret here. They're trying to hide how they feel, okay? They're trying to cloak how they feel because someone's choosing themselves. And even though they're regretting it and they're in disappointment, they're talking crap. They're listening to what other people have to say. They're talking about you. They're telling lies, spreading lies, spreading rumors about you. All because they they in their feelings about you choosing to be with you. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Mostly all the signs are here. You're dealing with a Scorpio too. Yeah, this transformation has taken place to this devil energy here. There's a change coming. Capricorn Scorpio energy. There's a change coming. It's coming. And someone's, someone's standing their ground and protecting what they want to do. So if they're going to change the situation, it's changing regardless. And they're moving forward eight of wands here. Someone's healing their heart. They're also protecting their heart. There's a lot of black on these cards here, which is the root chakra. Okay? Root chakra is red, and it's also black. So successfully moving on they see success success elsewhere they see success with themselves they choose themselves they choose to heal 1919 on the clock someone's choosing to heal themselves rather than be in a toxic environment in a toxic marriage or relationship situationship a partnership love work or life someone is choosing their selves kudos to whoever's doing this could be you Libra or whoever you're dealing with someone's leaving another party here and it's like i'm choosing myself now what's going on libra what's going on libra holy spirit what's going on with libra 
Libra Libra placements, April 2023. What's going on with Libra here? That's too many. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Booyah. Booyah. Kishan. We have the purse. The cane. But this came out first. Bird perch. Let me get one more. What's going on with Libra and Libra placements in April? Too many? Let me get at least one or two. Libra, Libra placements for April. Libra. Libra placements. There we go. Thank you. Hi. Six of Wands came out again, but in this deck, V for victory. You know what I'm saying? But the first card out is Bird Perched. Last card out is victory. Bird Perched. Waiting for news package or letter. So there's something that you're waiting on, or this person here. Someone's waiting on some sort of information that's coming. It's coming in the mail, or it's coming through email. All right? This letter could be about money because purse is definitely telling you to pay attention to your money, Libra. Pay attention to your finances here. And pay attention to your health. So your money and your health. Sexual, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Health includes all of that. When people mention health, H-E-A-L-T-H, -E health. Where is it at? Here it is. I'm pointing to it. When they mention your overall health in general... It's your sexual health, your physical health, your spiritual health, your mental health, your emotional health, and your financial health, too. But your money needs to be balanced out and it needs to be healthy as well. So, again, there's some news about money that you're waiting on here. All right? There's also news about your health. So, you could be waiting on some results or something that's going on. This could be the reason why you're moving on from this situation ship here. Spiritual love, Lily. We have spiritual love here. Could be the love of self. Let me see. My child in there singing. <laughs> H-I-J-K-L. Let's see, Lily. It's a pretty name, too. Lily is a spiritual love. A beautiful white lily fills the... the Purest heart and mind, spiritual love, divine and pure. Now is the time for you to share this love with your fellow men. Share your love with the world. So you're someone uh, who's very genuine, who's very honest. It, it Basically, you have a pure heart. Okay? Make sure you're sharing it with everybody. Be kind. Be gentle. Okay? Victory in some endeavors. You will have the victory. In this, okay? This is what someone's regretting here. And they're talking crap about it. They're talking about your change. And how um, something didn't work. Or something ended moving forward. So someone tried to keep you stuck and stagnant with them. And whatever this black magic is did not work here. You may have been fighting. When someone has a strong free will. And they will not allow no one to tamper with it. They aura or their energy automatically fights off black magic. Automatically fights off. You have fighting spirit here. You have a spiritual team as well that's fighting in order for you to have the victory to move forward here from this situation. Right? Mind your money. Mind your health, Libra. Okay? Especially if it's you dabbling in uh, the dark arts or Magic of any kind, because to me, I I believe personally, magic of any kind, white, nor white, black, gray, red, green, whatever. Anytime you got to use your energy or force your will, or they call it forcing your hand, it kind of it don't deplete you, but it does make you tired energetically, and it does cause health issues. So just be mindful if that's you. But yeah, someone in the background is definitely uh, happily moving on from an old love here. 
They're going to take that risk and they're keeping all that information to themselves about moving on. Now, although, again, like they may feel lonely, they may feel unha unhappy with the situation of being lonely. With being lonely, the overall energy is that they're really happy because they're moving forward towards this new beginning. Now, someone does need to take a spiritual cleansing bath, okay? And then take care of themselves, take care of their health because... Something spiritually is messing with you when that devil card pulled up. Something's messing with your energy, Libra. Okay? Something could be draining your energy, for that matter. So just take care. Spiritual health especially. So go get your spiritual cleansing baths and start cleaning when the moon is waning. Peace.